Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new and today we are continuing our magic babies challenge I still haven't thought of a name for it, but you guys gave me some really good suggestions which I'll, which I'll mention in a minute But I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of the love you've given on the first video I've gained so many new subscribers. So welcome to the family. Thank you so much for deciding to join us over here It makes me really happy. So yeah on the last video I wasn't sure if I missed any of the occult characters in the game, but you guys helped me out a lot in the comments so other suggestions were a ghost, which you can't have a ghost baby without a mod. I've tried it in my legacy challenge and it didn't work out. Maybe it was just that sim, but I guess we could try it again. Uh, the tragic clown. I can't believe I forgot about the tragic clown, but we'll definitely do that. Uh, Spellcaster. Uh, the island elementals. We gotta do that too. And then uh, a lot of you guys mentioned the robot from university. I'm not 100% sure if you can have a baby with uh, the robots, but we can check. There's no harm in trying. And I think that's it. So yeah, if you guys missed the last episode, we were able to get some romance with the Grim Reaper and we were also able to get pregnant with by, by Patchy, with Patchy, uh, so I'm really excited to see how his baby turned out. And that's it, let's get into this episode. I'm so very, very excited. I hope you guys are too! Okay, so here we are back in the house. I actually want to move because I hate this lot. Just because there's this, um, like, wall here, it makes playing on this lot really strange. Like, see, it like jumps up to this second story thing and it just does this and, oh my gosh, it really, really bugs me. What is this? That was strange. I added these two sims um, into the world as spellcasters, so if we can meet them, that would be great. You guys made them. Um, I don't remember exactly who. I know this is um, Space Boy and this was, let me give you a proper shout out. All right, well, my game doesn't want to connect to the gallery, so that's great. I will give you a shout out though, I swear. So yeah, let's move. Okay, we are back in a new house. This is in Windenburg still. Uh, it's like tucked in the corner, which is what I didn't want, but it's okay. So yeah, she's currently pregnant with Patchy's baby. I'm gonna get her to claim this bed um, because this is the master bedroom. So I'm thinking, we should probably force her pre force her into labor just because I want this to go by a little bit faster. So let's put her in labor. And you guys said that you thought it would be cool if we cheated every baby to be twins just to see how they would look as a boy and a girl. And I thought that was such a cute idea, but the household will fill up so much faster. <sighs> Gosh, I'm so torn. I'm so torn. I hate making decisions by myself. That's why I wish this was live sometimes so that you guys could help me. <laughs> okay, I do like that idea. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Cause I think it would be interesting to see like a boy and a girl version. So let's see, let's see. Pregnancy, let's see what she ha or ha is pregnant with right now. One female baby, aw, okay. So let's do one male, one female. Okay, and let's get her to have the baby, guys. I'm so stoked. Oh my god, but wait. <gasps> Patchy's gone now. I wonder if we buy a new Patchy if our relationship status is gonna be the same. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. How could I forget? I also forgot our plants. I'm slipping, guys. I'm slipping hard. Yeah, it doesn't- it looks like our relationship is completely... No. I'm so sad now. Oh, we can summon him! So that's good. I guess we technically don't even need this patchy anymore. Okay. Alright, let's get her to have the baby at the hospital. Um... Let's join. Just because I want that birth certificate. So my new favorite drink, I like to share my drinks with you guys, but it's this, this bi antioxidant infusion watermelon. Oh, it's so good. It's, it's really um, refreshing. So I've been drinking this a lot lately. 
Here we go. Time to have a baby. A lot of you guys were asking me where I got this hair, and I'm pretty sure it's Le Leia Lilith. Leia Lilith. <laughs> um, but I'll try and find out for sure and let you guys know. Come on, let's have this baby. Yay. Who's our doctor? Oh, it's not as exciting because we already know what she's gonna have. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't even think of names. Shoot. Uh, they have to be like garden names, if that makes sense. All right, I looked up a list of garden names on Google. So for the boy, I think we should go with, let's name him Oak. I have never used that name and I've never ever heard that name in my life. So I think that's pretty cool. And for the girl, we can do, <laughs> it's hard. I've used so many of these names in my 100 baby challenge. Let's do Juniper. I think that's cute. All right, Oak and Juniper, welcome to the world. Welcome to the world. Welcome to the world. Where's the other one? There's supposed to be two. Oh, there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Arogaba. Hello. All right, time to go home, and I think I'm just going to forward their life into toddlerhood because ain't nobody got time for babies. They don't do anything in The Sims anyways, so. <sighs> that means we need a freaking kid's room. Shoot. All right, well, I guess we can make like a little temporary one. Why is everything in this house broken? Oh my God. I think what I'm gonna do when I have some spare time is I'm going to build my own house for this challenge. I think that would be fun. Just so I have some my own personal touch to the challenge and not just like houses off the gallery. All right, let's come upstairs and age up the babies. Why are they facing this way? <laughs> there we go, okay. So, who was born first? This babe. So, age up, age up. Patchy sent Oak a gift, how cute is that? Uh, let's just randomize. Okay, so that babe is clingy. Aww. And then this babe. Inquisitive, how sweet is that? All right, so. Now that we've had Patchy's babies, I think it's time to summon Patchy and see what he looks like in Create a Sim. Patchy, let's get you on over here. Patchy will be right over. He better be right over. Shoot. Where are you? Hi, Patchy. Let's just ask him if he's single right quick. Oh my god, what happened to you? So ugly outside. Come on in. Oh yes. You better be. We get. What are you doing? Try for b fool. No, 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 no. So since we're focusing on Patchy right now, I think we should just add him to our family momentarily so he can help us with the babies. And let's see what he looks like in Create a Sim. I'm so excited. Uh, I know it's um, different for each the patchy. News I can add. So, oh, and here is traits. Fun loving, light eater, and mischievous. I think those are the cutest traits for Patchy ever. And his aspiration is the curator. All right, Patchy. Ooh. Time to strip you of your straw man outfit and see what's underneath. I'm so nervous. I'm so freaking nervous, but we need to do this in order to give the babies a makeover, like a proper makeover. Y'all ready? Moment of truth. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, okay. Um, you're just like a stock sim. You really have nothing special about you you are a base sim through and through well that wasn't very exciting but he's got shoes on underneath his um patchy outfit so all right okay so we got a brunette and a brown eyed patchy so since brenna here is also brunette and brown eyed i think their kids definitely are going to be 
Her eyes are more of like a brownish hazel. They're not like really, really brown. All right, so here's Oak. <laughs> He's pretty cute. So in order to tell the difference between all of the kids, I'm sure we won't have an issue with that, but for Patchy's kids, I really want them to be um, kind of like, I don't even know how to explain it. Just really, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Earthy, earthy, that's a good word. I want them to be earthy. Okay guys, here's Oak. It was kind of hard to make a toddler look <laughs> <laughs> earthy like the way that I want but I'm sure when he grows up we can give him a more defined style so I'll show you guys all of his outfits this is his uh, formal his sleep I went with a lot of browns oh I didn't do a party wear do we even need one really <clears throat> that'll work all right, uh, his swimwear, his hot weather. This is so cute and so farmy. I love it so much. And his cold weather outfit. So let's go ahead and have a look at Juniper now. I'm very excited. She looks so concerned. Let's give her... Let's give her the same eyes her mom has. And then what kind of hair? What kind of hair? Oh my gosh, she has such chubby cheeks. Look at those things. Oh my goodness. Okay guys, here's Juniper. She is so cute. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love the cheeks. And I love this little outfit with the sunflower overalls. This is so cute. Um, here's her formal, her sleep, her party, her swim, her hot weather, and her cold weather. I didn't spend too much time on it because I didn't want to waste a lot of time. <gasps> oh no! Patchy needs a first name and a last name? Let's just call him Patchy. Does he really need a last name? Oh, fine. S straw man. Patchy straw man. Okay, let's get back to the game. So our next order of business is to get pregnant by the Grim Reaper. Okay, so I think that the two toddlers, what we're gonna do with them when they grow up is they're gonna be good at gardening, obviously, and I don't know what else they should be into, so you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments. Oh, that is so cute. Little patchy baby. All right, 6 a.m. I think it's way too early to do anything with Grim, unless we summon him. We could technically summon him, and I think in order to um, pull off any jealousy that might happen, I think we have to ask him to be just friends. Ask to be just friends. All right, we already got your seed. Get it? Because he's patchy, your seed. Um, oh, Is he gonna be okay with it? Are you okay with it? Oh. Oh, he's very happy. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. So he's just here to take care of the babies. That is really your only job, Patchy. Take care of your kids. All right. So next order of business. Where's Grim? Oh my gosh. No, we can't summon him. Uh, all right. Let's send him a text then. See if he texts back. You know what? I think the only way that we can get him to invite us out is if we're like flirty. Oh my god, someone already made a mess. Congrats on the new addition to the family. Oh, <gasps> that's what we can do. That's what we can do. That's what we can do. Let's invite her to hang out because um, since we're having issues finding a male. Oh, she's going to the bathroom. Finding a male alien. You guys suggested that we just make. JC here be able to make other sims uh, pregnant. Just change that and create a sim. There she is. Hi. Uh, let's modify her and create a sim really quick and change her preferences if they're not already that way. Because some of you guys were saying the aliens. Okay, yeah. Get others pregnant. Let's see what she looks like. Beautiful. Her traits are dog lover, hot-headed, and materialistic. Those aren't very good traits. All right, here she is. Let's give her a compliment. Let's see if they are even... Ooh, did she just kiss her on the cheek? What happened there? 
Let's try some romance. Let's flirt with her. I know you don't like handouts, but I just sent you some money. Thanks, Lilo! <laughs> That's so random. Okay. Compliment her appearance, brighten her day, flirt. Embrace. <laughs> Let's give her a romantic gift. Let's give her a Christmas rose. I wonder if she would like that. Aww, cute. Cute, 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 cute. Oh, what's going on? What, what, what are they doing? Oh, I didn't even need to tell them. They're just going for it. Where are you guys doing this? Are you doing it in a bush? But why though? Yeah. Why a bush when you have a bed full? Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Oh my god, this house is so cute! Um, Maybe we should move into this house, because this is just adorable. <laughs> anyway, where's our house at? Okay, let's go and take a pregnancy test, see what's good, see if we got pregnant. If so, that's two out of... I don't know how many. I think there was like, no, you're not pregnant. Yes, you're pregnant! Ooh! Alien baby! Alien baby in the works. She's like, oh, heck yeah. That's what's up. I don't know. Do we want four toddlers in the house? Not really. <laughs> that would be really difficult. Hey! Oh my gosh. Patchy, you're supposed to be taking care of these babies. You know, it would be cute. If we bought the photo studio and had all the babies take pictures with their dads. I'm definitely gonna build a cool house for this challenge and make like a photo room. I'm gonna make like a gardeny bedroom for the kid for Patchy's kids. I'm gonna make like an alien themed bedroom for the alien babies. I'm gonna make like a dark black like goth room for Grimm's babies. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. I can't wait. All right. Um. Bye, JC. We'll be seeing you when your babies are born. So let's see. Take photo of. Shoot. Um. Oh, look how cute. Oh, so adorable. I just wish that treadmill wasn't right there. All right, now that we got pictures with the daddy and the children, I'm really hoping the babies that she has are gonna be aliens. If they're not, we might have to cheat it. Let's send Grim a flirty text and see if he texts back. Might be too late. It is, he's playing so hard to get. Come on, Grim. So let's start working on our romance with some other people. You guys are saying that this guy right here is a merman. So... Oh, that room's gonna be so cool. We can make it all like watery and island themed. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't wait. I'm so excited for this challenge. It's gonna be awesome. We need to build a pretty big house for this. And it's gonna be just full of stuff. <laughs> wow, that does not look fun at all. Okay, there's just like a hole in the tree and it's just bouncing around in there. Hmm, I guess that's where using your imagination comes in. <laughs> One of you guys commented that you said you hate me playing with the walls down, but it's like when the walls are up, I can't freaking see anything and I have to be like zoomed all the way in. Uh, I don't know. I just I just can't do it. I'm sorry if it bothers you, but I just can't do it. So once it re once it reaches 7 a.m., I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know. What should we do? Should we ask him out on a date? Should we invite him to hang out here? Should we go and visit his place in Solani? That could be fun. I'm so glad we have Patchy who can um, babysit the children while we go out on our romantic adventures. <laughs> Let's see if we can find his house, if he even lives in a house, or if he's just like a random sim. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. So let's just go to the beach and then we can invite him to hang out there. Just a little change of scenery. Invite to hang out. 
You guys better be right about him being a freaking mermaid. Oh, let's see if he changes. Has to swing with. Hey, who are you? I didn't want to swing with you. I want to swing with him. So he's like, okay, you're gonna invite me to swing and then swing with some other guy. Okay, let's see. Let's just get to know him a little bit. Let's get him to uh, tell us that he's a mermaid. Ask if mermaid. No, it's way too soon for that. Let's give him a gift. Let's give him. Let's give him a potato. Let's see if he likes it. Did he leave? Oh, he's swinging. Look at these cuties. Oh, okay. So we swing with you and you stop swinging? Or are you just gonna watch us swing? Interesting. Oh my gosh. I think he might be uh, either hot-headed or mean or something along those lines because they are really not getting along right now. Maybe he's evil. <gasps> Uh-oh. Where's the deep conversation? Discuss angry mood. Okay, we flirted with him and he likes it. Okay, the romantic things are going really, really well, but whenever I try to do anything... Um... Anything, like, friendly with him, he's just like, no. I don't know what his personality traits are. It's so hard to get to know him without him getting mad. But he likes to flirt. He really does. So, here's our first kiss. We didn't even have to have a first kiss with the alien. She was just like, let's have this baby right now. I don't even care. We don't even need to build our relationship first. No, you can't leave. Stop right there in the name of the law. <laughs> oh. Let's ask him if he's a mermaid. I think our relationship is pretty high. You can't leave! Stop trying to leave! You can't! No! Let's see if he's willing to tell us. Mermaid, what gave you that idea? You guys, what? Juniper just texted me. <laughs> I heard you and Oka are getting are good friends now. You're getting more popular. Clearly, you're a good person to know. Clearly, I'm your mother, child. No, no chatting with Greg. Where's homeboy? Time to woohoo. Time to get that relationship up because you need to figure out if he's a mermaid or not. Oh my god, look. Someone's woohooing in the bush. <gasps> Who is it? Who is it? I need to know! Oh, you two. Oh my word. Our turn. <laughs> I'm just having them woohoo for right now. Uh, just because she's already pregnant, obviously. But I just need their relationship to go up a little bit more so we can ask him if he's a mermaid. Stop running away from us. Stop. Just stop. There. Ask. Your relationship should be high enough now. Well, what's it gonna be, Doc? Are you? Oh! <laughs> he is! You guys were right! Heck yeah. That's what's up. So there's our next baby daddy, guys. Ooh, green eyes. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Alright, time to go home. See ya! Ukupapanipo. Ukapanipo. I'll try and remember that. Okay, so we got... Patchy in the bag, we got Alien in the bag, Merman in the bag, Grim. Uh, he's a tough cookie. He is a tough cookie. Let's send him a flirty text and see what happens. Ugh, dispose of dead plant. Dispose of all these dead plants. Nasty. So Grim didn't text us back again. Um, I think it might be because we're like texting him too late. I'm not really sure. So, what else do we need? We need Santa Baby. Uh, but that's all the way in winter. Whoa, why is our lifespan so freaking long? I'm sorry, but no. Let's do... Normal. 
So let's go ahead and go to, um, let's go to Brightchester and see if we can meet a robot there. I have no idea if you can have a baby with one of the robots from university, but we're gonna find out. Um, is the robotics lab here or here? Ah, it's definitely Foxbury. Do we need to enroll in university? This is gonna be hard. We might have to. I know my university series, which is dead by the way, sorry about that. Uh, I've seen a robot just wandering around campus. Cram for exam. Join this cram session with other students at the commons. Hmm. It's kind of late at night, so I doubt we're going to see any robots wandering around. Wait, wait, wait. What's this? What is this? Craft chatterbot. Tinker with robotic station? What? Should we... Hmm. Is this a skill, I wonder? I haven't even messed with this at all. It is a skill. It looks like we got two robotic robot salvage parts from tinkering at this station. Okay, we got two more. That's bomb. Um, so we can craft one of these now, but I don't think these are the... I don't think these are the proper robots that walk around that you can like build a relationship with. They look small. Oh yeah, look how tiny it is. Uh oh, she got electrocuted. I don't think we're gonna be able to find one in this episode, but let's see what else was on the list. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Oh, a spellcaster. Okay. Um, tragic clown. Sorry to interrupt your ping pong game, but we gotta go home and buy the painting. So if I remember correctly, we have to buy the tragic clown painting, we have to view it a bunch of times, and then he should appear. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. It was so dark before in this house. Um, yeah, we could- um, no, I don't want to go on a date with you. Actually, we already know you're a mermaid, we've got our romance up so we can try for baby whenever we want to. But where should we put this clown painting? How about right there? Here we go. Tragic clown. Boom. Let's see if this works. View that clown, girl. View it. Oh my god, it's making her sad. Oh, is he here? Is he here? I heard music. <gasps> what? <gasps> yes! Yes! Hello! Hello, baby girl. It's a girl. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Nadine? What are you doing? What are you doing to her? Oh, Sunday! <laughs> Same. Where's your clown makeup? I thought you would be um, more clowny than that. Sup? How you doing? Very sad. I bet this clown is very sad. 100%. Oh, I'm just crying. Brenna has learned that Nadine is a tragic clown at Sunny Clowns Inc. Look at Juniper likes the clown. How cute. No, I don't want to grab lunch at Shez Llama. Let's see if some romance will go good with uh, this this woman. Flirt. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Are you gonna take it? Ooh, yeah! My girl's got the moves. Embo. Hook up in bush. Sure, why not? Okay. Uh, it didn't work? She didn't want to? Oh no, she did, she denied our embrace! This is gonna be really, really hard. Harder than I thought. Let's apologize. Sorry about that. Oh my god, she's making Juniper cry! Honestly, shoot. Can you just apologize to her really quick? No, don't pee yourself. No! What trimester are you in right now? 
Ooh, third trimester already? Oh my gosh, she might give birth in this episode. <gasps> oh my gosh, four toddler. This is gonna be like the same as the 100 baby challenge, except, 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 I don't even need to take care of the toddlers in this challenge, which is way better. <laughs> Such a tragedy from being near tragic clown. Oh my goodness gracious. Is this tragic clown ever gonna leave? Like try to cheer up yeah right it's a freaking tragic clown but i guess we could try uh oh that didn't work all right let's ask her to leave time to go bye see you later okay so i think we're going to end this episode with my girl having her babies And we need to change her offspring, but wait, let's see what it was. One female. Oh my gosh, she's having nothing but females so far. Okay, one male, one female. He's like, whoa, back again, huh? Did you really invite him to feel your baby? So silly. Oh my gosh, the guy delivering our babies is evil. That's just great. Have the babies! Why are you on the computer? Here we go! Round two! Obviously, we're gonna name this girl Xenon. Like this video, if you know where that's from. And the boy... An alien boy name. Hmm... Ooh! Ooh! I got one! I got one! Zerg from Toy Story! <laughs> oh, that's great! Xenon and Zerg! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, okay, where did they go? Oh, it looks like they're both green. <laughs> success, 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 success. I'm so happy right now. I am so happy that they're both aliens. I was a little bit worried. Also, I'm obsessed with the names. Who are you and why are you here? Bella Goth. That is an interesting outfit for you, Bella. I always pegged you as a red dress kind of girl. But okay. All right, where are these two babies at? Are they in here? Oh my gosh, look. They're both freaking green. Oh my gosh, I'm so stoked. I've never, ever, ever had an alien baby in The Sims. So this is all very new to me. <laughs> What's this? A burst of energy from personality type? All right, well, let's come on over here and age up these two babies. And uh, in between these two, this video and the next, I will make a house. And uh, yeah, they will have their own alien room. So Zerg is going to be a wild child, while Xenon... Xenon is going to be inquisitive. Okay, it seems like all of our girls are inquisitive. Let's have a look at them and create a sim. So we know that JC is green-skinned. She had black eyes and red hair. So perhaps these two twins can have red hair. I think that would be kind of cute. I can't decide between the these eyes and these eyes. <sighs> it's tough. It's tough. I'm gonna go with these, but if you guys prefer the rainbow eyes, let me know and I will change them back. So let's try and find our little bean here. Something alien-esque to wear. I probably don't have anything, but uh, let's have a look anyway. There's the alien diapers that came with the game. This is pretty cute too. It's kind of wild and out there, and I think that it goes really well with her, uh, with her vibe. So we might go with that one. Oh yes, she has to wear the alien top. Of course. Here's her party outfit, uh, her swimsuit, I don't know. Let's just do that one. All right, gang, so here is Xenon all done. She's so cute. I'm so excited. Okay, let's have a look at Zerg. They're definitely not identical twins, but that's okay. Okay, this was so freaking hard. I have like no alien-esque clo clothing for toddlers, but this is Zerg. I gave him his mom's eyes or something similar to his mom's eyes, and I really like this hair on him. I normally hate this hair, but I actually really like the way it looks. 
Okay guys, the alien babies have been born, and of course the first thing he does is make a mess. Typical. So I think I'm gonna leave this episode right here. Uh, we did pretty dang good. We had our four babies. We built a romantic relationship with a mermaid. We... what else did we do in this episode? That's pretty much it. So we've got a long way to go. I hope you guys are still enjoying this series. I know I am. Honestly, it's so much fun. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, uh, there have been two suggestions on what we should call this challenge, and I do want your guys' opinion because I can't decide. So I'm going to be doing a poll on my community tab on my channel for you guys to vote what you think is the better name for this challenge. So we have two options. The first is the Mystical Motherhood Challenge, which I think, bleh, which I think is a great name. That's by M. Vaughn. Uh, my, that subscriber comes up with like the best names ever. And then there was the Occult Baby Challenge, which is pretty um, self-explanatory and straightforward, which I also like. Um, Anton Michael King suggested that one. So I'm going to be posting a poll on my community tab. Go and check that out and vote. And we should have a name for this challenge by the next episode, which is really exciting. I can't wait to build the house and show you guys in the next episode. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye!